Hello viewers and listeners here on JCTV Africa and welcome to this wonderful show where we are talking about this new legislation that has been put in place uh, or that is still being uh, looked at. And today I'm joined by Mr. Davison Kanukanga. Uh, he's a legal expert who has been in the legal fraternity since 1991. A father, a bishop, now a granddad. Welcome, say to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, okay. So can you maybe uh, articulate to us what, what was the, um, the reason behind this law of the new Lobola Act? What, 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 is the, um, what, really, uh, what were the aggravating factors to, for us to get where we are now? L let me start by making it clear yeah. that uh, we used to have different pieces of legislation okay. governing marriages All right. in Zimbabwe. Yeah. We had the Marriage Act, Chapter 5.11. Yes. We had the Customary Marriages Act, Chapter 5.07. Then we had unregistered customary law unions. All right. So what the legislature then did was to repeal those different pieces of legislation that I referred to. All right. So that at the end of the day, we have one piece of legislation governing all marriages in Zimbabwe. Okay. So we now have the Marriages Act, mm. Chapter 5.17 which came into effect in May this year, uh, this year 2023. Okay. So we are not talking about a new uh, piece of legislation. Okay. This has been around since May 2023. Yeah. So what this piece of legislation has done is to harmonize uh, the laws governing marriage and to ensure that we now have just one piece of legislation governing all marriages in Zimbabwe. I saw an article that was talking about um, uh, there was a heated debate between uh, uh, Chief Charumbira and the Minister of Justice, uh, Justice Ziambi Ziambi, and the issue that was there was that uh, on the cultural side, um, there is that contestation that we can't just uh, let our children go um, mm -hmm. and this is probably against the cultural norms that a, a woman can just go and become someone's wife. Um, what is your, what, what, what does the legislation then say in that regard? Okay, it is important for us to understand that firstly in terms of section 63 of our constitution Every person has the right to participate in a cultural life of their choice. Yes. Now, when you then go to section 16 of the Marriages Act, chapter 5.17, you then find that chiefs Mm. are now designated as marriage officers for customary law marriage purposes. Okay. Now, when parties decide that they want to contract a customary law marriage, okay. they can go to a chief and have their marriage solemnized by the chief by the chief okay now when you then look at uh, section 16 uh, subsection 2 mm. of the marriages act chapter 5.17 it reads as follows a marriage officer in a customary law marriage shall put to either of the parties to a proposed marriage any questions relevant to the identity or marital status of the parties to the proposed marriage, to the agreement relating to the marriage consideration, okay. Lobola or Aurora. 
okay. if any, and to the existence of impediments to the marriage. This should be read in conjunction with section 16, subsection 5, <coughs> which says that uh, if the marriage officer is satisfied that the intended husband and wife freely and fully consent to the marriage, okay. and that from the two family witness witnesses, it is apparent that customary law formalities have been met, okay. uh, and that no lawful impediment exists to the proposed marriage, he or she shall proceed in terms of section 31, and such marriage shall be a valid marriage contracted according to customary law. Okay. So you can see from these sections of, yeah. that there is reference to lobola aurora. Okay. That the marriage officer, the chief, mm. actually asks the parties whether these have been met. That's right. These conditions have been met. That's right. So which means there, there has to be agreement between the, the families and the chief has to be satisfied. That's right. Okay. So I'm not sure where the notion that uh, Lobola has been done away with is coming from. Yeah. Because this section is very clear that mm. the chief must satisfy themselves that the formalities for a customary law marriage yeah. have been satisfied. We know from a customary law point of view, the church knows the kurora. Can our no achirora? Can a kurora? Can a kurora na? Jesus, no itika. Jesus, no fana ku itika. Fana fana vumira. Aha. Kudi tizoti uyu arora. Can a kuti uyu arora. Ati goni. Patsi kani magariro edu kuti titi arora kana kuti arorwa pasi na nyairora. Okay, yeah, this one. Saka nyairora i rora iri do ineta kuti zinzi patsi kani magariro uyam kuasha uyam rora. Mm, yes. Nekuti murimbirizi. Nekuti pa magsika ni magarredu kurora na kusikungori pakati pe mukomana ni mskana. Yes. Kana murume ni mkazi. Mm. I murimbiri. Zabata nizwa. Ziruku bata nizwa. Nechiti ko ichi chino nzirora ichi. Mm. Saka wano taurira na uwirira na kuti rora racho raka mirase. Do good reasons Arora can a good arrow. Sagarora, Rinacu Biswa, Riripo, Riripo, 